Hey everyone, well, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rini, this is the Enchanted Planner and today we're planning in my health planner for the first week in February. So um, Groundhog Day is this day and I'd come up with an idea, but I couldn't find anything that totally suited exactly what I was looking for, but I did find some cute clip art. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. So we got a little groundhog here and we got a little groundhog here. And then we got like early spring. Well, we're gonna switch those. We're going more winter, early spring. And then I've got some stuff. I've got some stuff. So we're gonna play with these. Aren't they cute? I will um, link the artwork down below. It was inexpensive too. It was like two bucks or something. Funny thing is though, is I see the same clip art offered by more than one person. So I'm like, who the hell is actually the uh, true creator? Because <laughs> apparently there's been some ripping off or maybe some collab. It's possible it was a collaboration as well. Okay, so the first things we need to do are get these pages off the desks. That would be numero uno and then get this out of the way. Okay, so let's make sure I put these down properly. Coolio, and then we're gonna need this. I don't think we'll need the sticker swisher. We might need that. Um, and we probably will need these. I think that's about it. So, oh, my tweezers, derp. I will need the tweezers. All right, so let's eliminate this stuff first. So how is it going out there, gang? My life, eh. it's been good, it's been good. You're gonna laugh because, you know, as I told you, I now have a cricket machine, <laughs> but it's still sitting in the box. So guess who hand cut all of these stickers? I know, right? Some funny stuff. Okay, now I want, I think I wanna grab, oops, knocking stuff off my shelf there. I think I wanna grab, I eventually wanna get more Tombows. I was actually looking at them when I was in Michael's not too long ago. But the problem is, is they have like some of the, like some of the same colors and some of the other packages. And I'm like, well, I don't need two copies, right? So there's that. I was playing around with some inking to see what it might bring. I don't know. I don't know. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna get this and we're gonna see, that's a nice color. And that's a nice color. And where's my purple? And that's a nice color. Okay, I think we're gonna go with those three. We're gonna go with those three. Let's move those out of the way. Okay, so we have sort of a loose plan. I also need to get my box of inks, my stamp cleaner, my favorite blending brush, and then this guy. Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit strange to try and pull off. So I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do this yet. So I think we're gonna use tumble glass. We have the sponge sugar. Then we have this shaded lilac. I also have a yellow and those are kind of, I don't have green. I need to get a green. Move those off to the side. Cause what I kind of wanted to do was like a little bit of a transitional spread, even though it's not a transitional month or a week, but we're getting the determination <laughs> from our little groundhog friend. Um, to see if we're gonna get like six more weeks of winter or if we're going to get an early spring. And I'm all hoping for an early spring. I don't know about you. So let's get a little bit of ink going here. I think I need to re-ink at this already and I barely use this thing, so I'm not sure why. But I think these blending brushes soak up a lot of the ink too because they, they apply the ink very differently than um, the Tim Holtz blending tools do. And that's okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to ink over. Well, I guess we're gonna find out. I'm gonna have to ink over correction tape. So let's see. It's a little light, but I kind of want it to be there, but not there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, so that's that one. Let's clean the, let's clean our friend there. Okay, so we'll put the cat back on the tumbled glass. Then I think I wanna come in with this lilac, which is quite bright by looking at it. So wish me luck, people. <laughs> wish me luck. Oh, I probably should have done down the spine. I've never used this and it appears to be relatively 
like dry, which is kind of strange. All right, let's push a little harder, see if I can actually get some ink out of there. Oh, I got some, all right. It's also a fairly light color, apparently. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. It's totally different than the direction I wanted to go in my head. <laughs> Don't you love that? Come up with an idea and you can't actually do it because there's nothing you can find that's going to work for it. Probably shouldn't be inking on top of my backdrop, but I eventually do need to replace this guy. He's getting a little beat up. Okay, so... All right, so we've got, it's, you know, it's there. I don't want it super like in your face. So we'll start there. Now we're gonna move into the pink, which I'm gonna clean a little bit off of this blending brush. I should probably get a bunch more of these guys and have them more like, here's this is one, this one's for pinks, this one's for purples or whatever, right? I just haven't got there yet. All right, so let's put the pink on. Oh, now we're talking. I got a little bit too much pink there. But I kind of want to blend it through and see if we can't get kind of like a little bit of a, not quite an ombre, but a little bit, you know what I mean? It's got like a pink and a purple. Okay, and then I think I want to come in with some yellow. So let's get, let's hit our yellow up. Let's clean a little bit off of this blending brush. I have no idea if this works, but <laughs> we're gonna go for it. All right, let's bring in some yellow. Ooh, pretty. I don't know if you can see it, but it's showing up just in like a little bit of the spots where there's a little bit of, I think I just made a mud, but no, actually no, it's not too bad. But a little bit up there, the yellow shows up really nicely. Okay, so we have this like, purpley pink yellow thing going on on this side and then we have this blue thing going on on this side and I think I'm going to add a little bit more blue I'm using the distress ink as opposed to the oxide because I only have oxide in the tumbled glass and I figured I would keep them all the same eventually I'd like to get oxides in all the colors I have but one thing at a time I actually was thinking about getting a bunch of the little tiny square ones because they're more cost effective and I can get more of them for, you know, the price that I'm paying for a single one, right? Yeah, let's bring this up. I want to bring it down. The Ooh, <laughs> okay, we got green. <laughs> that was unintentional because I got yellow and blue on here, right? Okay, so don't push too hard with the blending brush because apparently I got a little bit of green. But you know what? That might be fun to add over here. So we, uh, yeah, making your primary colors, people. Okay, so we got a little bit of green down there. It looks like we got grass. <laughs> okay, so let's move, the, let's move all the inking stuff out of the way. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring in, I think, hmm, maybe we'll do the blue on this side to sort of highlight my categories. And the Tombow is moving really well over the ink. I don't think I'm gonna use that last thing. Okay, and then I think we're gonna go between purple and pink on this side. That'll be purple. And then we'll get the pink. I don't know how well this is gonna show up, but we're gonna see, right? Ooh, smart. Sometimes it's fun to just play. Right, and that's the thing, like we got into this hobby for the creative side of it. And sometimes we forget that the play is part of the important part. Okay, I would, here's my Tombows. Let's have a look. I don't know that I really have anything else sort of pastel -y that's gonna work. Oh, I have this green. Let's, let's see. Yeah, I could bring that in. It's much better than most of the alternatives. I have a yellow. That's pretty bright. I need something for the top. That's where I'm going with this. I have this color. This is like a periwinkle. Actually, the periwinkle will probably be good because it works with both the blue and the... Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So we'll put these guys back in here since we're in here. Because we're gonna come up here with the periwinkle. 
and this is just going to sit behind sort of the week, the day of the week. Okay, so that eliminates, oops, that eliminates the need for all of these guys. And these are containers I just got at the dollar store. I like them because they're clear and I can see what's in them. Very much about looking to see what's in them, unless I want to purposefully hide something. But most of the time I'm like, I need to be able to see what's in there. All right, we have some wax paper. <clears throat> okay, so let's go get some days of the week. Which ones do I want? This poor book. <laughs> this poor book is, it's so damaged. Those are all the, that's paper. I don't want paper. Those are huge. Have I used all of the like normal sized ones? Did we only get one page? Seriously? Really? Well, that's bunk. All right. So I guess the abbreviated ones is it. I got paper, but I don't want paper. I want to be able to see through them. And those are huge. Well, I guess I'll be having to make some pretty soon, won't I? Okay, so let's grab Monday. I'm just gonna stick these on here for right now because if we're doing the abbreviated ones, I'm gonna go and grab my large numbers from Planner Basics Mini because I really like using the two of them together. Like the abbreviated fits really well and then you get these really big numbers on, which is, it looks kind of cool. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my makeshift numbers book. So we need a 30 and a 31. And then I gotta go looking for smaller numbers. I have some there, but let's see if I can find a sheet that I gotta put these on a binder ring. It drives me crazy. <laughs> I need to be able to flip the pages. Okay, so then we need a one. <clears throat> And then we need a two and a three. Come on. And then I need a four. Six. And I need a five. Okay, and then we can move this out of the way. Okay, so let's start off with the 30. Oh, e. okay, we need the white pen, but this is gonna kind of make things a little bit messy, I think, we're gonna find out. So if we bring the 30 down on like the second line, let's see what happens if we white out behind it. I mean, if I don't like it, I can always scrape it off with the X-Acto knife, that's the one thing that's kind of nice. Okay, I can deal with that, okay, 30. And then 31 and the same thing. We're going to come in here, just leave some, leave some, some white out pen or gel pen back there. And then the one won't be so bad because it's a one. Okay. You can lay down and let's go over here. Yeah. Come off the lemon paper. And then we have a two. And then we have a three, a four, and a five. And none of these need any, well, the five does. Actually, not really. There's nothing crossing through it, although that's kind of crooked. So let's put them on straight. Okay, then we're gonna come in here and we're gonna go Sunday. Saturday, Friday, Thursday, and then, yeah, come here, Wednesday, Tuesday, do, 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 and then Monday. And we're set, we're good to go. Okay, now, like I said, I got my little buddies here. <laughs> this one sort of represents, yay, it's spring. This one sort of represents, hey, is it winter? And then I've got like a sunshine, which I was hoping to fit in here somewhere. I don't know, I got a few things. So let's start out with our little dude here because I pretty much know where he's going. 
I could get out my grass washi because I have washi that's grass, which is pretty cool. But as I showed you the other day, if I had a green distress ink or oxide, I would actually just create a template and make my grass that way. So he's all hanging out here in the snow, which is kind of cool. And then we'll take this one off. Yeah, come here. Don't rip his hat. <laughs> Don't rip his hat. I just want underneath. That's all I need. Okay, so and we have this guy here hanging out in the grass. So you may be asking how my health planning is going. <laughs> well, <laughs> so far, not um, all that optimal. Not all that optimal at all, sadly. Um, I needed to... I needed to get my fitness room um, emptied out and I needed to take down all my Christmas crap and stuff to get that done. So that took a bit and now I need to get, there's just a lot of stuff in there that doesn't belong in there right now. Some of it was Christmas, but it's become, you probably have one of these areas in your house too. It's the room where you put everything you don't want to deal with. Well, that's what's happened on that side, unfortunately. So it's going to take me a bit of time to get through there, but I'm hoping to have it done relatively quickly I'm not like I'm filming this on like I don't know the week before this <clears throat> so I'm hoping to have it done by the end of January so I can actually start February 1st okay and then I'll keep you guys updated so we have more winter and then we have the early spring sticker which I swear there was a little thing over here and it is very hard to see I usually leave myself like a little thing to pick things up okay apparently not all right let's see if I can get under it this way And then we'll trim this off. And we'll put that over here because it's cute. So cute. Early spring. And then, like I said, what I also wanted to do was I got to find my template. And I showed you guys this in the inking tutorial. Oops, knocking all kinds of stuff all over the place. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to bring this out and use the distress ink. So that is the plan. We're going to get this and we're going to make some little snowflakes. I mean, they're barely there, but they're super cute. Just ink, 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 ink. Cute. And then let's do these guys. No, they're coming up kind of green. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. It's because I got so many colors happening in here, right? Okay, let's do a little bit of a bigger one. Yeah, maybe a bit bigger one up here. And then we're going to come on over here into the actual spread on this side and make some as well just to kind of give it that wintry feel so we know are we getting more winter or are we getting more snow what are we getting i mean hopefully there's no more snow i would preferably like an early spring that's what i'm hoping for we'll do one of these guys um where do i need a snowflake right here like that Oh, I got the edge of the page somehow. Well, that's a bummer. Let's see if I can blend it. Nope, it's just going to be the way it is. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. I must have run over the edge of the page. That sucks, but it is what it is. Okay, so we've added some snowflakes for a little bit of fun. Then on the other side, like I said, we've got some, we've got this like cloud with the sun and stuff, which I thought would be kind of fun to bring in. And we'll trim off this bit. Coolio. I think we might have to lift up something here though to make this work. So let's 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 see, shall we? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's take you off. Do I need to take the Sunday off too? I think I do. Okay, so let's lift the Sunday up. Let's put this guy kind of up here 
on an angle in the corner. Which means I'm going to cover up what I did, but that's okay. I want this more than I want the other. So then we're going to put down Sunday and then the number five. Like so. Put him back down. And yeah, I'll get my sticker squisher out in a second and flatten everybody out. Then we can trim off that. And that. Kind of cute. <laughs> kind of looks weird, actually. I'm just going to say it looks a little weird, but I'm just going to ignore it. And then we've got a couple of like butterflies, which I thought were kind of cute. So let's pull them off of there. This one we can put, where can we put you? Yeah, like over there. And then I have another butterfly. Yeah. My little thing didn't work. All right, well, I guess we're going in. Let's see if we can get it to lift up the other way, which I try, I try not to do this because it's really frustrating sometimes when things don't want to lift up, but it seems like we're having a good day. So we're just going to stay with that and not rip our sticker. And then let's trim off the rest of that and put the butterfly right there. It's super cute. Okay, who else do I have? I have a butterfly. No, I have a ladybug. I have a ladybug. <clears throat> hmm. Do I want to put the ladybug in? I also have this rainbow. I was like, I'm not sure about the rainbow. I'm really not sure about the rainbow. But the ladybug might be cute. And then I have this other cute little guy, which I thought was adorable. But he doesn't really work. <laughs> He's holding flowers, but he doesn't really work for this whole thing I got going on here. Um, all right. Well, in the meantime, let's grab the sticker swisher. And let's adhere everybody to the page really well that's clear anyways okay now I need to decide if we're doing anything else or if we're just gonna stay this way I mean it's kind of cute it looks rather naked but it's really kind of cute decisions 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 I could probably put some more snowflakes in on this side hmm hmm that would be a hmm I mean, I could put the rainbow over there. I don't know if it works, though. I mean, it's not like we really get a lot of rainbows in winter. <laughs> right? Am I right? Don't really get a lot of rainbows in the winter. So I'll put a little teeny tiny piece down there. And a little piece right there. Okay, well, I need to write in my categories. So I'll do that. Um, do I want to keep them black or do I want to go in color? I think we'll just go black. So we're going to go down here. So I'll write one day in. I know I didn't do it up on top of my line, which I just realized. I was trying to avoid the number. Today's just a oops day on stuff. And then movement. Okay, so I'm going to finish filling it in and then I'll be right back. Hello, hello. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> um, I'm trying to figure out... <laughs> Oh, this is a mess, but we're just going to ignore that. I, I was worried about trying to fight and get breakfast in here, but I probably could have made it work. But it is what it is. I'm trying to decide if I want to come in here and ink this to sort of make it blend in. That's kind of where I'm at. But I kind of need to make sure there's not a bunch of ink on my brush, hopefully. So maybe we'll bring in a bit of... Sometimes the lids are very hard to get off of these dang things. All right, let's bring in a little bit of the pink. Let's see if we can help sort of blend this into the background a bit. Oh, it's smudging my lettering. Oh, that would make sense. It's an inkjet. Well, that's bunk and it's not really working. Probably should have left it be. <laughs> probably should have left it be. Maybe we'll just pat see if we can get it to pick up some of the purple. There we go. Well, now it's a complete mess. <laughs> Welcome to my world. All right, let's throw it back on the discs. I got to find February in here. Hold on. 
February, February. Okay, so I have this and that. There we go. All right, that's a wrap, you guys. If you enjoyed this video and the mess that it became, uh, sometimes our ideas work really, really well. Sometimes not so much. <laughs> uh, this is going to bother me. I may have to see if I can get that off. It's going to bug me. All right. <laughs> I'm going to leave it for now, though. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button on your way out. Um, if you are new to the channel, drop us a comment down below letting us know you're new so we can formally welcome you to our community. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.